Hey everybody, it's Mike from Monkey Fab. Uh, thanks for stopping by, checking out the video. Uh, been busy, <laughs> been a crazy week this uh, last week, like Black Friday, Cyber Monday. As you can see, the Phoenix is still up in the air with the uh, transmission still in there. But I gotta get that out, I'm gonna get that out and uh, get back on the Phoenix project. Excited about that, but uh, thanks everybody. I uh, haven't posted a video since the last video on the new Vulcan welder, and thanks everybody who ordered one of those uh, Monkey Fab starter kits, the ultimate starter kits. Um, big hits, got a lot of positive feedback. I always appreciate that. Let me know what you think, and uh, I want to talk today about the first upgrade on the machine. It's a simple upgrade. Anybody can do this, and it'll run you about about 60 bucks, 70 bucks, depending on shipping. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix the torch and make it a lot more comfortable. It is not comfortable right now. So what we're gonna do is, I've been welding with this, so I put this, you guys like, what's up with this? Cause this uh, fan was kicking so hard and these little vents come out the side and it was blowing my gas. I was, I've been welding non-stop with this thing. I'll throw up some videos right now while I'm yapping so you guys can check out uh, what kind of welds we're getting out of the machine. I haven't done any uh, aluminum. Still working, waiting to do some aluminum, but uh, I've been doing lots of stainless, lots of mild steel. Um, and I've been just giving this guy a workout, uh, welding for you know an hour, two hours, three hours. Uh, I'd say probably about three hours is the most. Um, without without stopping i mean just not stopping 140 amps usually 100, between 125 and 140 amps is usually where i'm at on the stuff you're probably seeing now uh but what we're going to do is get back to the thing what we're going to do is grab our uh torch this miserable torch this miserable hose and we're just gonna sorry it's so dark in here i uh still there we go so the ballast out on my floor so light so we're gonna take this guy out of here and now we got this miserable hose and we're gonna upgrade we're gonna upgrade this and it's gonna be nice and this is so easy it's so easy and simple and you can do it at home no problem and uh yeah it'll be great so this hose and this torch is tig welding is all about articulation uh you know eye hand coordination articulation and it's real important to be able to control this torch very finely and the better you can do that generally the better looking welds uh and the better welds you're going to have you just have more consistent looking welds and uh, this thing is not conducive i don't know if you can see this but i'll uh yeah let's do this i'll just try to turn this hose around and you'll see like it's just really thick and uh, you know, it's like rubber hose. It doesn't, it doesn't, um, it doesn't bend well or easily. It doesn't bend easily, yeah. So uh, to upgrade this, I um, got a super flex hose. And the other thing I don't like is the, I mean, I don't, it's not bad. These torches, I've, I've, the things you saw me when I put up the post pictures of the stuff that I welded uh, was with this torch. It's not a flexible head torch. I like flexible head torches just because it's just easier and you can uh, kind of cheat a little bit. So um, I got our super flex hose, which is really flexy. And you get that from usaweld.com. Uh, it's either USA Weld. I'm pretty sure it's USA Weld. Dot com uh, or usawelds.com, but Google it, you'll find it. And uh, if you click on their the drop down menu, go to uh, I want to say it's TIG welding or TIG torches, and then go to Harbor Freight, and that'll take you to where you need to be. What you want to do, there's a few different options there, but what you want to do is just get the one, it's a plain hose, and it's just got these little nubs on the bottom, right, y'all? And that's what you that's what you're going to want, um, and it's the cheapest. So their 12-foot hose is, I think it's like 50 bucks plus shipping. Um, you can get a 25-foot hose. Make sure you get it for whatever torch you get. That's that's important, too. So uh, we got it for an air-cooled torch, the number 17 and the number 9. It'll fit either. Um, so like I say, you can get a 25-foot, you can get a, uh, or you can get the 12-foot, but remember you're limited also by your ground and your foot uh, 
pedal. It seems like you have a lot of foot pedal. So, I mean, maybe you want to upgrade your ground, get 25 foot, and it's nice to be able to move across the shop without having to move your machine and everything and reach things. Um, longer leads are always good if you got the, the ground and the foot pedal to go along with it. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, and, and then I got, I got torches. So, my deal is I just get torches on eBay. Um, they are, I got this guy here, kind of show you the difference. They are uh, cheap. <laughs> so I got this number nine flex head on eBay for 10 bucks and I got two of them. So what I do is I get usually two or three to four or five, whatever at a time. And uh, when they break, I just throw them away because all this is, is just a copper tube. And that's, that's what flex is, is the copper tube. And after, you know, this thing gets hot, heat cycles so many times, you bend it around and eventually it just breaks and you just throw it away and grab another one. It's only 10 bucks. I got 20 bucks uh, and that was shipped. And uh, yeah, so I got two of them. Easy. The not, this is a, this is a larger torch. You see it's like physically larger. Got to put them in line there and uh, uses large torch parts. Now, I already did a video on large and small torches. I believe that's what it's called. So if you just Google monkey fab, large and small torches, then it'll break this down in fine detail, all the differences between the large and the small. And I might've covered water cooled and air cooled. I don't know. But uh, so this guy, it's a, it's a number nine flex head and it uses all small torch parts. And this is a number 17. This is what comes with the machine, is a number 17. It uses bigger torch parts. All the nice stuff that I have anyway is for my water-cooled torch, so it's all small torch part stuff. So I'll just be able to use the stuff I already have on this guy, and that's why I got it. It can't, it can't carry as many amps as the 17. It's not built to do that. Um, but I have friends that are horribly abusive on equipment. <laughs> And uh, I know that they've welded hours on end on aluminum way more than what these were supposed to be welded with. And they hold up pretty well. And like I said, they're 10 bucks each. So when they break, you just throw them away. And that's a good thing. So we got torches, two of those, 20 bucks. Not 20 bucks each, but 10 bucks each, I think it was, pretty sure. And uh, you can look all the stuff up on eBay. And then we got the flex hose torch for uh, number 17, number nine, air cooled. So what we do is we pop this guy off. And uh, all we got to do is we're just going to pull this stuff off our GLS fab cup and the torch parts because we're not going to need those anymore. I'll be able to use my small stuff. And I don't want them flopping around. And what you'll see is... This has two ends as well, and it's exactly like the line we're going to replace it with. However, on the torch, it's got this shrink wrap stuff, and, uh, you know, I don't know why they did that, but they did that. They actually did it on both sides, I do believe. Um, put this in here. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to throw this guy in the vise. And I'm just going to kind of catch it. I have these little aluminum plates in here so it doesn't like bar up stuff. And I just need it to catch it a little bit so I can pull this cover off. <clears throat> yeah. So um, all it's going to do is just pop this off. It is, whoop, I'm clumsy. 7 sixteenths. Yeah, 7 sixteenths. So we're just going to, whoop, good Lord. Man. So, uh. Just unscrew that from that. And uh, if you want to reuse that torch, you'd take it off. You'd have to get rid of that shrink wrap on there. And uh, we're going to pull that cover off. But what I'm going to do, since I already got the... Uh, since I already got the torch that I'm going to use, and I'm not going to use this torch at all, is I'm just going to put this in the box that it came with, with the shrink wrap on it looking all brand new. And if it ever breaks, I'll throw it in the box and take it back and exchange it for new stuff. So with this stuff is, um, where I showed you my little demo, you'll see this stuff is just, it's really, it's just super, it's super flex why they call it super flex hose. And it's just 
a pleasure <laughs> after dealing with that thing to use this. And uh, what you're gonna do is just, you know, same thing, opposite of what you did, and put this guy on. No need for Teflon tape. Just throw it in the vise. Meal. and snug it down probably about like uh, probably 15 16 foot pounds not a whole lot you just don't want it to leak air is the most most pressing reason that you're doing that the most prescient and uh, then this thing's got a couple little grooves in it and you just line those grooves up with the grooves on the brass fitting here and here and uh, smash it in there <clears throat> And there, looks like stock. It's like factory. And then on the other side, we're just going to put our torch on. And just take the handle, you just slide it over. And then this guy goes on now. Like that. And you fit in the vise. Yeah, that'll work. Just snug it down, same thing, probably about 15 foot pounds. You don't have to kill it. Just put it on there. Put your handle back on. And there you go. Look at that. Just bloop. It's so good, man. It's so much easier to use. You can just get in there and just point that thing at the flex head. Now you can kind of cheat if you have to. What I try to do is not cheat too much. The more you bend these, the more extreme you bend them, the quicker they break. So if you just give them a little tweak, then that usually helps them last just a little bit longer. And uh, yeah, so we're done here. And all that stuff is just left over. So like I said, I'm just going to throw it in the box. So I'll we'll take you next door in my dark little welding room. And show you how we hook this back up. So this guy right here just uh, goes in a little dilly up, key up, and uh, just give it a kind of like a quarter turn and maybe like 10 foot pounds of torque. You don't want to, you don't want to gorilla grip this guy and rip it out of there because you will destroy it. It's just pretty easy to do so. Now I got this guy. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. And I can put on my little torch parts now, which are much smaller than the large torch parts and just screw these guys on right now and here uh oh i need a cord there it is There we go. And that is much smaller than the large parts. So this is the equivalent. This is a number eight versus a number eight. So that is what you'd be working with on a number 17 torch with the number nine torch. It's much smaller. And this stubby gas, uh, the, uh, not stubby gas lens, stubby gas lens won't work on here. You can get small gas lens to work with these guys. And uh, my uh, GLS fab cups will just screw right on there. So, uh, and then if you're also doing aluminum, then what I'll usually do is swap this out either for the stock cullet or a number five, which is much smaller than even a number eight. So uh, that is it. I don't think you guys really need to see me well with this. I promise you that it will work and uh, there'll be future videos. We'll be using it uh, ahead of time, but it's just, man, it's so much nicer and so much easier to manipulate uh, now. And like I said, now I got this little cheaty guy so I can kind of poke it up if I need to. I can point it down if I need to. And that's, that's usually helpful. I try not to tweak it again a whole lot, but it sure helps when you need it. So that is our first set of upgrades on the first set of upgrades on the Vulcan Pro TIG 200. And I, my, I had a new microphone. I hope that it sounds a lot better because I paid a lot of money. So you guys could get quality videos and I hope you appreciate that. Um, 
Yeah, so that'll be uh, the first update video on the ProTig. Been working great. Uh, like I said, I've been using it and abusing it, and it is holding up just fine. I need to come up with a project to do some aluminum just because I, I, I mostly weld steel and stainless steel, so I just don't have a lot of aluminum projects to do, but maybe I'll think of something to do, like a water cooler box or something. Water cooler for a water cooled torch. That'd be cool. But I digress. Until next time, this, oh, the uh, links for the TIG starter kits, again, I'll just drop down in the link below. So if you wanted to check that uh, ultimate starter kit out, you can do so. Um, things that I would suggest you buy, I suggest that you go to eBay and buy it. Okay, so I kind of went off on a tangent, but here's what I'm talking about. You can go to eBay, pull this kit up, and you'll see on the bottom it's got the standard cullets, and on the top it's got gas lenses, and they come in all the different sizes you need, and this is a great kit for only like, what, 16, 17 bucks. So um, I'd, I'd recommend checking that out. Those gas lenses aren't the best. I really am kind of partial to Miller gas lenses on all my stainless steel welding. That's what I use. So here is my actual receipt for my torches. That was two torches. That was like, was it, it says 16 something for two torches. So that's like eight bucks. And if you go to the USA website, on the left hand side of their page will be a drop down. You'll click on TIG torches and then click on Harbor Freight. And this will come up. What you want to do is click on that top one. That's the one you want there. And then on the next menu, you'll see it's just that very top one for it's like 49 bucks or something like that. So for under 100 bucks, this is the best upgrade you can do, hands down. So I uh, hope that helped. And back to the show. Going on too long, I got it. So thanks again for stopping by, checking out the videos. If uh, you got any questions, let me know in the comments. And until next time, this is Mike Monkey Fab signing out.